그렇죠. MP가 저희 데테라 제일 처음 할때 MP 파일 제일 많이 썼어요. 와, 탑몇개 들어가는 거지? 아니, 50. 50. 50. Yeah. <웃음> 와, 50. Right, y'all. Welcome back to Kamara Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out something a little different, but I'm kind of excited for this one. So this is a Korean Special Forces sniper reacting to an American gunshot for the first time. Okay, so I have a lot of thoughts of that already. Um, so depending on the gun store that you go to, some, for the most part, most of them are pretty uh, underwhelming. As like, if you're like an actual gun lover or even someone in the military, most are gonna be pretty underwhelming unless you go to one of the bigger gun stores and maybe one of the bigger cities. Um, but you will find some like pretty nice ones just like randomly to be honest. Um, but looking at this one, it looks like it's got multiple doors. So it looks like it's a pretty good, like pretty massive gun store, to be honest. All right. So we'll probably see the normal stuff. You'll see ammunition, you'll see guns, you'll see like a selection of tactical gear. Um, and then, yeah, you might have some other stuff here and there, but yeah, I'm excited to see what he says. I didn't see a whole lot of gun stores or ranges or anything like that when I was in Korea, if they really even exist. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, he's a special forces sniper, so at least he'll probably just have fun with, you know, handling some of the guns. I don't know. We'll see. I'm excited. Let's check it out. And Korean special forces do not mess about, so I'm, ho I'm hoping they can at least wow him or show him something that he's familiar with. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, Guam. Okay. 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 I'm sure he's very familiar with guns and ammo. They're not gonna like Planet of the Apes rise up and start attacking him or, or something like that. Okay, but he is in Guam. I don't know a whole lot about Guam's gun laws. Um, of course, depending on what state you go to will really change like what you see inside the store or really also like what you can actually do if you can even buy ammo. But Guam, I guess is pretty chill if he can just go and get some ammo as well. All right, let's see what they got. <laughs> He's popping the collar too, interesting. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, looks pretty good. You got some cleaning gear, magazines, tactical gear. Oh my god, yeah, of course I have to have like a whole selection of patches. Morale oh, patches. 진짜, 진짜 플레이트다. 이거 레벨 okay. 3. Damn, 3 body 3 armor? 3 레벨 4. 이게, 이게 아까 이거... And different options too. Yeah, a lot of places, gun stores won't really have body armor. Um, you will see it every now and again, but for having a selection of body armor especially... 깜빡. Okay. okay. Can't go wrong with 511. <laughs> yeah, that is also true. Like, you run with like a certain pair of gloves, and if you don't have like your specific set, what you're used to, like, it'll really throw your groove off. I'm <laughs> 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 Man, it, it's also weird hearing him talk because, again, I did spend a year in, in South Korea. 
Um, so I'm kind of like hearing some familiar words and <laughs> it's kind of funny. <웃음> 곤총집 아까 저기 베스트에 달거나 혹은 벨트에 달거나 이쪽 끼 안에 보시면 이렇게 들어가는 곳이 있어요. 그 아까 방탄 플레이트가 들어갑니다. 삼각바, 일각바. 그래서 여기 방탄 플레이트가 들어가서 차면 나 여기 있는 심장이랑 장기가 가장 잘 모르는 곳이거든요. 그 옆구리나 이런 데는 다 맞아요 원래. 그래서 이런 데 다는 액세서리들이 있는 곳이에요 여기는. 본인 스타일에 맞게끔. 다 다는 것들이에요. 그러니까 뭐 이런 거 좋아하는 사람 okay, 이런 거, high speed 이런 거 gear. 사람, 어떤 게 편한지는 다 써보고 정보들이나 카드나 Damn, 막 그런 것들 다 휴대할 수 있는 것들이고. 근데 이제 아쉬운 게 대한민국 군대 그게 안돼 있어. 똑같은 것들 보니까 <웃음> 다 똑같은 형태로 되어 있고 본인 커스텀이 안 돼요. UDT는 되거든요. 이게 그런 것들이 조금. Okay, so he's a UDT. That's like the underwater dive team or under demolition team. I think it's demolition. It's like. SEALs, UDT. Yeah, so it's our underwater demolition teams. So yeah, he's talking about how the, you know, Republic of Korea Army doesn't actually have like the freedom to kind of purchase their own gear and kind of use whatever they want. It really depends on the where you're at in the US military as well because a lot of units won't let you use, you know, personal gear. They'll let you use some personal gear, but really not a whole lot. Play carriers or any sort of body armor, any sort of protective equipment, some commands will get a little bit antsy, um, but like pouches and stuff you can usually get away with. Um, for me, I can kind of wear whatever I want, which is kind of nice, but it really depends on where you go, and sometimes it can be really stupid um, where they won't let you use like anything that's personal. 발달돼서 본인의 데 가장 잘 맞게끔 이렇게 커스텀을 할수 있으면 좋다고 생각이 드는데 그런 게 조금 아쉬운 거예요. Yeah, as you should, you know. 통일화 돼야 된다고 하지만 전투를 잘하는 게 중요하잖아요. 그리고 이쪽에는 보시면 타일할 때 목표물. Nice. Okay. Those are nice freaking targets too. 이제 이쪽은 총기에 들어가는 악세사리 파츠들. 뭐 에어소프트건, 에어소프트건 부품들, yeah. 실제 변기에 달리는 악세사리 파츠들 있죠. 뭐 레일부터 okay. 위에, yeah, this is a, 홀로그램, 토치사이트, this is a solid 그다음에 gun store. Okay. 손잡이 배율, 뭐 탄창 이런 것들이 다 이렇게. Lots of magazines, optic selection. 개머리판도 다 본인 어깨에 잘 맞는 것들을 장착하는 nice. 것 같고. 근데 또저 중에서도 제일 경관 것들. And quality brands too. 제일 많이 쓰고 재밌다. <웃음> oh man, you can tell he's all about the the gun stuff and gear. 경기도 안에서 화약이 터질 때도 있거든요. 실제로 그런 사고도 있었고 괜찮을 하고 있어. Yeah, okay. So I'll put up a little clip right here. Yeah, sometimes guns do explode and even if the gun doesn't explode, sometimes the ammunition will explode in the gun, especially if you have a machine gun. Sometimes if you open it up, it can, you know, all the cool air rushes in. Yeah, a lot of stuff can be coming out of that gun that you don't want going in your eyes. Um, so yeah, you definitely gotta wear some some safety glasses. 그러면 변기가 터지면은 이쪽 다 날라가잖아. 그럼 눈이 날라간단 말이야. 그런 것도 있고 타이어 yeah. 제일 중요한 게잘 봐야 되는데 눈이 닫히면 안 되니까 눈은 무조건 보호를 해야 돼요. 우와. Oh yeah. 스코프가 달려 있다. 없어요. <웃음> Across the. 착사를 싸본 적 있는데 <웃음> 한 2배 될려나? 아 그냥 그냥이다. 정배다 정배. 뭐다 때려잡을 수 있는 건다 있네. 네. 초창기만. <웃음> Okay. Damn, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 을 개조해 가지고 쓰다가 지금 까지 넘어온 거거든요. 그 전까지는 MP 계속 썼었어요. 지금도 이제 경특 이런 데는 MP 쓰는 것도 있고 변다가라 쓰는 걸로 알고 있어요. Dude, I love the MP5. 가지고 구미리가 감통을 안 되는 걸로 알고 있어서 그렇게 썼는데 감통이 돼. <웃음> 아, yeah, especially with ball ammo. 지금 거의 이제 HK 416 쓰고 있고 여기 저희 oh, damn, okay. 부대 애들 데리고 오죠. 난리 난다 그냥 환장하는 곳이다. <웃음> It's like a kid in a candy store, you know. For adults. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, the gun ASMR. Wow. Oh man. 어떤 거냐면 보시면 여기에 한 발이 오늘 들어갈 거네. 
Yeah, no, he's also mentioning like if the military came here and kind of saw everything, they would be like, oh man, this is so cool. But I guess it also really goes to show because, you know, guns and shooting and whatnot are so popular in the U.S. Like even as a civilian, you're kind of exposed to a lot of these different types of guns and you have a lot of options for the most part, depending where you are. So even a civilian in the U.S. kind of has a little bit more access to different types of guns for the most part than someone who's in the Korean military. <laughs> yeah. All the polymer, and it is a Keltec too, so. I don't know how to feel about Kalashnikov USA yet. I don't know how to feel about Kalashnikov USA yet. I that one is from Serbia, the Yugoslavian. Nice. Oh, this is a good one. This is from Russia. This is classic. This is a good one. 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 This is a Black, <laughs> 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 MMPs, pretty nice, pretty surprising too. That's a nice looking one too. They feel really good. Caring mostly, uh, duty stuff really. Oh, hey, now, I don't know about that. Again, it really kind of depends on what you're trying to use the, the pistol for. For me, when I'm carrying, I don't want to have any safeties. Um, I do have some safeties on some of my carry pistols, but I've switched them out with like lower profile ones just so they're not accidentally activating because I don't want to draw a gun and, and kind of expect for, you know, it to fire. And then all of a sudden it kind of got switched back onto the safety. And again, like sweeping it, it requires like, kind of like fine motor skills and also you need to remember to take it off safe so a lot of people don't want to carry with a safety and it really is just choice obviously if you're having a, a gun inside of your house and maybe it's kind of more access accessible um, to other people then you might want to consider safety but it really depends on a bunch of different stuff <laughs> Hmm. I didn't get to see many like military <laughs> Korean movies when I was over there. I didn't <laughs> Oh, cool kit Wow. Oh, that's like a Humvee. Freaking medical oh. kit. Tumbaji jang 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 jai jonne. Kut diu nomon. Ah, iru kya man nomon Dude, <laughs> those things are clutch in the field. I'll say that much. I was never that guy to bring one though, to be honest. I don't know why. 
파약 파약 오그레이 이건 이건 147 상공파를 말 필요도 없어요 사실 그래 그래 20마리 충분하지 그래 그거 AK 쓰는 거잖아 AK. AK는 좀 있어야 돼, 좀더 있어야 될것 같은데 yeah. 적어도 세탄 탄 oh, yeah. 탄이 있어야 될것 같은데 지금 저격탄이랑 지금 AK 탄이랑 지금 최대한 해보려고 하는데 차질이 좀 생겼어요 미국에서는 연사가 불법이어가지고 그래서 원래는 Rapid 여러분들께 AK 나라운 경기도 연사로 쏘는 거 보여드리고 싶었는데 아쉽네요 보이죠 여러분? 이게 심지어 What does it mean by rapid fire? Has it been like full auto or something? I mean, it also depends on what indoor gun range you're going to and this is such a dumb freaking rule I mean, I understand for people who aren't like experienced, um, you know, it, but again, you should kind of like understand someone's experience level and be like, hey, maybe you should slow down a bit or, or what have you. But yeah, like if you're doing like bang, 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 like they'd be like, nah, you're shooting too fast. So they'll be like one round every second or something kind of goofy like that. Um, and yeah, God forbid you kind of shoot a little bit faster than that because then they'll start watching you and then they'll start telling you to slow down. And then it just gets boring. So if they're firing at an indoor range, then that might be kind of what he's talking about. This is AW50. This is when people hit people, just hit them. So they don't hit people. Yeah, it's just freaking blows stuff off. 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 쏘면 거기 내 일대가 후폭풍. I don't know what that word actually means. 약간 so. 어린 아이 같아가지고 지금 <웃음> 여러분들 약간 좀 이상하게 생각할 수도 있지만 아 지금까지 건샤 봐서 전체 다 둘러봤어요. 근데 제가 생각한 것보다 진짜 Dude, 너무 많은 so 평균이 like 악셀 파츠. Over stimulated. 옷 여기 다 너무 중요돼 있어가지고 <웃음> 밀떡들 환장하는 곳이네요 여기는. 그래서 어쨌든 오늘 이제 탄도 탔고 다 둘러봤으니까 내일 사격을 하러 갈 거거든요. 다음 hmm. 사격. Nice. I kind of want to check out their shooting video now. 그리고 혹시 여러분 사격할 때 좋은 뭐 아이디어 있으신 분들은 말씀해 주시면 또 사격 준비돼 있거든요. 그래서 거기에도 또 실험을 할수 있으니까 혹시 okay. 이런 거 너무 궁금하다 한 것들 댓글 달아주시면 적극 수용해서 진행해 보도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. Nice. Yeah, hopefully they can go to like an outdoor range and have a little more freedom on, on kind of what they're doing because that'd be a lot more fun. Okay, so I will put this video in the description if you guys want to go and check out the video again or if you want to check out the follow-on video he was talking about. But yeah, okay, it's always really cool, like seeing kind of foreigners experience like American gun culture, but especially like foreign military personnel, um, because again, you do kind of forget like how much exposure you have in like American gun culture as a civilian even. Um, and again, a lot of other countries don't necessarily have those sor sorts of rights or access to this kind of stuff. Um, even if you're in the military, I know people kind of think of, you know, you're in the military, you shoot like all these different types of guns. Even when I was in the infantry in the Marine Corps and the army, I mean, I maybe fired like maybe 25 to 30 weapon systems. Um, and that's working with other militaries. If you're kind of like staying in your own military, then really it might be like 10 or something. Um, if you're, even if you're lucky, uh, and that's been in the infantry. So yeah, you are exposed to a lot of different types of weapon systems, but as far as like what you can actually shoot and stuff and you know what you really have access to hands-on, um, it's really not as much as a lot of people would think. And if you guys have seen my short channel, then you kind of understand like I have purchased a lot of guns that I always thought were really cool. And it's awesome for me to like see them in Call of Duty, use them in Call of Duty and Battlefield and be able to actually purchase, you know, a pretty close equivalent. Um, not necessarily like full auto or machine guns, not yet at least. So it is kind of cool to be able to, you know, shoot those and use those. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know if you guys have had a whole lot of exposure to like American gun stores like this, as far as him getting a tour, but let me know what you think. Let me know how the gun stores compare to where you guys are. Um, and I don't even know if you guys really do have the same sort of thing. If you have like stores dedicated for guns and gear and ammo and kind of stuff like that, or if it's more stuck in like outdoor stores, which we have as well here, but I don't really know how it's set up for you guys. But of course, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. And if you have anything else to recommend, anything sort of military related, even if it's, you know, it's not us necessarily checking out a military, this is kind of close. I am more than willing to check that out as well. So if you have any recommendations, you can throw them down below, throw them on the Discord, or head over to the Instagram, and you can recommend some stuff there as well. But thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.